Did you know the importance of Laylatul Qadr? By the will of Allah SWT, we are rewarded with the holy month of Ramadan, a month that is filled with immeasurable blessings, a month of purification of the heart, mind, and soul. One of the blessings that are given by Allah SWT as a gift to His servants is the blessed night of Laylatul Qadr, often translated as the night of decree or as we are familiar, Qadr Gejasi. The night is so special and significant that Allah SWT dedicated an entire chapter of the Quran to it. Allah SWT says in Surah Al-Qadr, Indeed, we sent the Quran down during the night of decree. And what can make you know what is the night of decree? The night of decree is better than a thousand months. The angels and the spirit descend therein by permission of their Lord for every matter. Peace it is until the emergence of dawn. What makes Laylatul Qadr exceptional and special? As we are entering the last nights of Ramadan, let us uncover the meaning of this night and its significance. The actual date is not known. The precise night on which Laylatul Qadr occurs has always been unknown, but what we know is that it falls within the final 10 nights of Ramadan, believed by many on the odd nights. The Prophet Muhammad said, Search for Laylatul Qadr in the odd nights of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. There is a great wisdom on why Allah SWT purposefully made the exact date unknown to us. Part of it is so that we may strive in seeking it, engage in extra worship, and remain consistent in doing them, even towards the very end of Ramadan. The reward of the night is better than a thousand months. It is mentioned that one of the rewards of Laylatul Qadr is that the night is better than a thousand months. If we realize the value of it, every act of righteous deeds and worship completed on this single night is rewarded with a minimum of at least 83 years of worship, which is equivalent to an entire lifetime. Such is the unique opportunity for us when approached with sincerity to gain forgiveness and mercy from Allah SWT. The Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever spends the night of Laylatul Qadr in prayer out of faith and in hopes for the reward, his previous sins will be forgiven. The Acceptance of Supplications One of the many nuances of the word Qadr is congestion and restriction. Accordingly, the earth on that night will be flooded and occupied with so many angels that it becomes congested and pressured. And because it is filled with celestial beings of light and blessings, the earth is voided of every evil and calamity and becomes exposed to a spiritual pressure. Sins are forgiven and supplications are accepted. One of the supplications that can be made on this night is an all-encompassing forgiveness prayer that is taught by the Prophet ﷺ to his wife Aisha radiallahu anhu. It was narrated that Aisha radiallahu anhu asked the Prophet Sallallahu O Messenger of Allah, if I know which night Laylatul Qadr is, what should I say in it? And he replied, Allahumma innaka afubun karimun tuhibbul afwa fafu anni. O Allah, you are indeed forgiving, generous, and love to forgive, so forgive me. With the significance of Laylatul Qadr explained, let us enliven and maximize these last nights by reciting the Quran and engaging in continuous prayers and invocations. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to make the best of these nights and catch the blessed Laylatul Qadr.